Common sayings of lost people number five. You are in a cult. Have you been told that? <laughs> I never have, yeah. Uh -huh. Acts chapter 24, verse 5. For we have found this man a pestilent fellow, speaking of the Apostle Paul, and a mover of sedition among all the Jews throughout the, the world, and a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes. You see, in the first century, they were calling it basically a cult, the sect of the Nazarenes. Uh, funny, okay? They were, you know, Jesus was a Nazarene, and they were saying, you know, they were saying, you know, you're a, a ringleader. Paul is a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes. See, even back then, when it was still fresh in most people's mind, you had people that actually saw Jesus die on the cross, and they're saying, oh, you're just in that cult thing. All these eyewitnesses, over 500 eyewitnesses to Jesus, you know, rising from the dead and going and speaking to people and whatever else, Old Testament saints coming up with him and, you know, appearing unto many and things, and, and there's still people saying, oh, that's that cult over there. Incredible. Acts chapter 28, verse 21 and 22. And they said unto him, We neither have received letters out of Judea concerning thee, neither any of the brethren that came showed or spake any harm of thee. But we desire to hear of thee what thou thinkest. For as concerning this sect, we know that everywhere it is spoken against. So another group of Jews, unrelated to the first group there from Acts chapter 24, another group of Jews is saying, Oh, you're that part of that sect. <laughs> mm-hmm. 1 Corinthians 1, 9, God is faithful by whom you were called unto the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. You say, well, that's cultic. That's cultic. Oh, uh, well, you can call it that, but the fact of the matter is, God is the head of it, not some man. Paul was not a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes. Right? He was just an apostle, servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. He wasn't the head of it. Jesus Christ was. And I mean, wouldn't you want to have Christians all speaking the same, being in the same mind, the same judgment? That this would be our standard? Because uh, then you can hold Christians accountable to that standard. But uh, professing Christians come up with all their books of discipline or catechisms or all these other, you know, confessions of faith and things like that um, that say things that are different from this blessed book right here. And they can always change it. But a Bible-believing Christian says, this is the book right here, King James Bible. I'm going to be held accountable to this book. 1 Corinthians 1.11 for it hath been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are of the house of Chloe, that there are contentions among you. Now this I say, that every one of you saith, I am of Paul, and I have Apollos, and I have Cephas, and I have Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? Paul's giving them a hard time because they're trying to go into this denominationalism type of stuff where they're saying, I'm a Wesleyan Methodist. I'm a Lutheran. I'm a Mennonite. I'm a whatever but the first century edition of it. I'm of Paul. I'm of Apollos. You know, I'm of Cephas. Another name for Peter there. I'm of Christ. No, Jesus Christ is the head of the church. So if you want to you take that and say, well, that makes us in a cult or whatever else, you know, you're in some kind of a cult or, or whatever. Okay, whatever. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 5 and 6. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Jesus Christ is our mediator. He is our God. He is the head of our religion. If that makes us cult-like, well, whatever. Okay, um, we're not following a mortal man here on the earth like other cults do. Um, we are following the God of heaven. And here's our standard.